Forever to get out of the house. Damn. What do you want to do? I don't care. We could do like the 20 mile loop I did yesterday. We're out here. Ugh. The new fit. Look real close. Mm, turn around, son. It makes you look way less fucking round because it's black. Does it? Oh, yeah. Like so much better than sure the other. Sure, it's not just the physique coming in? No. No. <laughs> I think it's just the. <laughs> it comes back up. It's like a 20 okay. mile loop. But it's dope, dude. The, the gravel trail that it connects to is sick. And maybe in my biking gear in a rap video. The one dude was filming and the others were like all walking like <laughs> pointing all gangster at the camera. Nice. And I like come up behind him and pass him. Get my helmet. Ah! Oh, almost, shit. sorry. Right. <laughs> that was almost a problem. Yeah, that would have been great. But I'm like, no, there's a straight bug. Okay. No. No. Hear it? Same spot, dude. It must have a hole. I got a CO2. This might be okay for now. No, maybe I should use the CO2. Because they're one time use, dog. Once I do this, dude, this thing blows it quick, too. So, though we have tubeless tires, <laughs> this fucking back one just keeps getting a hole in it. And every time I bring it, they tell me, don't worry about it. But now we're using Teddy's new. I can't tell. Hold on. Feel the tire. I mean, yeah, it feels harder. Yeah. Still a little soft, mm. but it's cool. Oh, good morning. I don't know. First, I have to make sure I'm not covering up the speakers because we're on the GoPro. But I don't know. I think the last time that I picked this camera up, we we're on a bike ride with Dirty Urn. Of course, Dirty Urn has gone on like, I don't know, probably like four or five secret bike rides since then. But this morning, it's really cool. I think Ernie's taking a break because he has uh, overdid it, I'm sure. And then uh, I'm actually going to load the bike up. Well, first off, I fuck with my derailers for like 10 hours over the weekend. You know, as you ride your bike, things loosen up. I was having some trouble shifting front gear cleanly. So I tried to just do it myself. Well, 10 hours later and I took it back to the bike shop. They did it in 10 minutes. I learned a little bit, but not that much. So Ern has it a little easier, I guess. Here's the thing. My ride home from the bike trail is a little insane. So what happens is, is I don't wanna keep going because I know the crucible that I have ahead of me. So today we're gonna drive over to the, where the bike trail starts and then, you know, you know, you know what I mean. We're gonna take the shuttle. We're gonna take the Tesla for the bike ride. Pretty hipster. Oh, and here's the new seat. New seat, S-Works Specialized uh, Power Arc. It's pretty nice. It's uh, definitely nice with padded shorts. Pearl Izumi. All right, put the bike on. Girl, why? All right, so we made it over to the, uh, the Regal Cinema 14. I forgot the GoPro mount. It's not attached to my bike, so I can't take the GoPro on this ride, which is pretty funny. But I'm honestly gonna do the same exact ride that I did the other day. So it's the same footage, same ride I did with Ern, maybe a little longer. We'll see how I feel. Kind of dragging ass this morning, I gotta be honest. Took yesterday off, ate some barbecue, and today I am feeling a little sluggish. So I need to start getting my body moving before it gets too warm. Strangely enough, somehow I fell off my bike by complete accident. I've st I stopped here and somehow rolled into that Gary, that, I don't know if you can see that, but I have rolled into that fell over my handlebars and fell down. I've been searching through this grass for a few minutes and then I realized that I could just play the sound, but my left AirPod, or my right AirPod, uh, we found it. Shout out to motherfucking Apple having the sound playing technology. That sucked. The worst part about this is we just went up this huge hill before we realized that the AirPod was gone. So. I had to come back down it. Now I have to go back up it again. Hello. So, GoPro, no audio device. Yeah, we're headed to, let me turn it. We are headed to ride our bike. So the last couple of days, there's been a lot of bike riding and a lot of resting um, and a lot of packing and a lot of dealing with trying to find a house in Vegas. So we have a house that we're looking at and we're just like waiting to hear back. And with all the shit that's going on, they're being real particular about who they let in 
the house. So we're just waiting to hear back to make sure everything's all good. Everything should be all good, but uh, you know, sometimes things are a little more frustrating than they need to be. Been riding our bikes a lot, not necessarily together. Ern is still on his own like secret mission that he wants to do. Like he's so obsessed being number one on the leaderboard that he's going on these rides by himself, not telling anyone, honestly lying, saying he's not gonna go ride and then riding anyway. He's just, um, he's shaved his arms and legs now. And it's, we've lost him, essentially. I'm gonna go on my own bike ride right now. I went on quite a few. I mean, there's the one where I fell and lost my iPod. And I don't think, I didn't take the camera then, and I don't think I've taken this camera since. Kind of been riding the same trail, so it would be the same footage really. But today, I'm gonna go at least further on that trail or a different route. I don't know yet. I gotta look at a map. Um, it's really just been a lot of that. People, I would love to be able to vlog uh, like normal, but life is not normal, you know? Nothing about what is going on is normal anywhere, as far as I can tell. Like, I, I would literally, some days my vlogs would just be me sitting here trying to figure out the fucking future, because everything is fucked up. I sell clothing for a living. That's basically what I do in tattoo. I can't do either of those things, or haven't been able to really in a while. Clothing has been so slow getting produced. We're, we're getting a drop today, which is taken, I feel like, probably close to six weeks, where normally our turnaround is two weeks. Yeah, it's really, it's really put a damper on things. And trying to move during all this, and it's just a crazy, crazy time, and everybody is going through their own shit with it, I guess. So, uh, you get so much of it everywhere else all day long, and I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't, but I don't think people want to come over to my vlog every day and hear a redo of the news, you know? So it's like hard to escape. And that's honestly why riding bikes is so great right now. Because you can get out, you don't have time to be on your phone, focused on something else, you're doing something for your health. In a way, silver lining has been a positive in the sense that I've been able to actually take the time to go and do things that I should probably be doing anyway. I've, it's been great to be able to even take a break, you know, like designing clothing constantly, always making art, like constantly, constantly, always feeling like I have to make something to get to the next lookbook or you know, keep momentum going. It has been in some ways nice to alleviate the creative pressure, you know, but now, now lines are starting to intersect and we need to get back to work. Like it's not a political statement. I'm just saying, I, I need to get back to work. Hopefully we get this Vegas shit locked down. We can start figuring out our move date, which will be two weeks from the day we sign the lease. And then we'll get to Vegas and start fresh. Dirty Vegas. But right now, I'm gonna go ride my bike. Let's go to the bike trail beginning. Fuck up my song. Bro, get away from me. We're uh we're far. We are 44 miles from home. I don't know. Well, we're 44 miles into this ride. I don't know necessarily how far from home we are, but we're in Aurora, which is not Inglewood. So we have to go through Commerce City, Aurora, Denver, and we're home. It's been a while. I'm tired for sure. Let's go. I literally was on my bike for six hours and 40 minutes, which is ridiculous. Uh, I will be the first to admit that's ridiculous. 69.5 miles. Now, the last time I checked in with you guys, I was, uh, what was I doing out here? Oh, I was, I was doing decent, you know? I was hanging in, I was hanging tough. Towards the end of that ride, oh boy. I definitely thought I was gonna puke. I definitely felt like shit. I definitely felt like never, never riding my bike again. It was, uh, it was not, not great. Like once I got back to Denver and had to take that stretch from Denver to Inglewood, that was brutal. Fucking brutal. It took me probably a good hour just to recover from the bike ride to the point where I could walk around. I got in the shower, I laid there, tried not to die, you know, normal shit. But we're home. We got this guy. We got this guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? I just did. I got mud all over me, dude. Give me this. 
Hey, relax. Anyway, now it's time to make some food. And it's damn near five o'clock, so my day is pretty much shot. But the drop is here. Earn is shipping. It. Friends and family, it's on the way. Oh, Omar, come on. Come on. You're such a brat. Oh. Oh. Alex is still searching for a home. Right now we get Twitter. No. The people that we are trying to rent from Googled you. They Googled me and then they found the vlog where I was telling the other landlord to eat a dick. Yeah, <laughs> but she also ended that text with the cute emoji the end yeah. hashtag. She laughed, so that's, that's a positive sign. We'll see what happens. Why are you in my face? But this fish eye is kind of funny. It's a super view. You Show them your head. You can change, no, you can change the view. Look at his neck, that, at least. Oh, look at that nose shot. Making the sandwich is gonna take the rest of my energy. I have none left. I like that you're just recording me in hopes that I'll do something silly. Wash your hands without cross contaminating. <laughs> I've got 19 minutes left, Bill. Oh, it's gonna take way longer than that. Yeah. Actually, probably won't. <laughs> Feels like it. I'm not gonna put as much meat on there as yesterday. No, he is not actually standing. He is resting again. <laughs> <laughs> I watch cycling videos. They tell you if you if you can rest, you should rest. There. That is funny that I'm resting. I don't even know this. <laughs> Seventy miles, man. Let me tell you, it's a lot. I was worried about you. I was worried about me too. I was gonna give up on life. Those moments, you're just like, I don't care. I have no water, I'm sweating, I'm hot, I'm tired, my legs are burning, I, what do I have to live for? You know, for a moment, I, it doesn't last. You get home and you get some drinks and you're like, oh, for a few moments, it's damn near suicidal. You were almost laying down on the counter. Yes, I am, because I'm trying to alleviate any stress from my legs. You don't feel like this is taking forever? How long do you think it's taking you so far? 20 minutes, at mm, least, so no. far. People always put avocado on sandwiches like a whole avocado. It's just like the dumbest shit ever. Why would you not make an avocado spread? Use your fucking brain. I agree. Fucking sliced avocado so it can fall right off my sandwich and I gotta pick it and put it back on. If I just put the sandwich back together, it's not a sandwich anymore. You're almost done, boo. No, I'm not. I haven't even started. What do you mean you haven't even started? Oh, and you still have to do the tuna? What? Right, you aren't putting tuna on it. No, tuna and bacon? I mean... People do that? Sure. I feel like... People will put bacon on just about anything. Spread it. Ew, you're so close Dude, to being this is finished. This taking so fucking long. The truth, pickles. We're at master. Fuck, I meant to put my cheese under my turkey on the side. Oh no. Yeah, boy. Only piece of bacon. I hope you put like some sparkles around the bacon. Two pieces of bacon. If or how fast are people eating bread that it needed grip? Look at that. Grip. Bread has grip. Because <laughs> people are hungry. Yeah. That's crazy. They were like, you know what would be great? If we added some grip to this, every time I'm holding my sandwich, it falls right out of my hand. And someone else is spinning a basketball and they're like, what kind of grip? Eureka. Boiler on it anyway, though. I need that grip. So, I've evolved past the grip. The burrito? What is it? Let's cut it open and find out. Tried to make it smaller than yesterday's. Well, I mean, I think you'll eat it all. Oh, man. Look at that beauty. How much did you pay for that? 14? 15? That's a $15 sandwich right there. I'm gonna open my sandwich spot when I get to Vegas. Kids. You mean you'll find a sandwich spot that you like going to? No, I'm gonna open one. No one is doing this. What the fuck are you talking about? No one's putting this type of love and care into this. I'm gonna call it 20 minute sandwiches because you know why? It takes 20 minutes. Sit down and shut the fuck up. You know what? You aren't too far off. Right now, the timer's at 18.45 and I didn't start this right away, so you're actually probably quite accurate on the 20 minutes. 20 minutes in. Well, our motto is sit down and shut the fuck up. God forbid you get a rush. <laughs> we don't get rushes. We tell you to sit down and shut the fuck up. 20 minutes is 20 minutes, no matter where you are. Abner, that is not cheese, it's paper. Don't eat it. Abner! <laughs> Okay, it's the next day. We just finished the podcast and I just wanted to update the vlog before I sit down and try to edit what I have here. We got the house. The house was approved. The 25th, 26th that we're gonna be out of here. Well, we're good, we're good to go. Vegas is coming up real soon. I know that the vlogs have not been as frequent since the lockdown. Uh, it's really just been, you guys know, less exciting than usual. Hopefully moving forward here, 
We'll have a little more excitement going on and the next couple of weeks will be a lot of packing. So if I'm still non-consistent, it's just because I'm packing this house and trying to get rid of as much shit as possible. Keep your eyes up for my tweets and shit for yard sale because I'm definitely going to be getting rid of some stuff and it's probably some stuff some of you want. There's a drop coming soon, actually this weekend, Sunday, friends and family, everything is shipped as of today. You get access again tonight until Sunday to the drop. That's pretty much it. Omar wants to go outside. So, have fun, buddy. I'm not going. I'm not going. I got stuff I gotta do real quick. I gotta make a sandwich. Then we can do this. Uh, yeah. So I got some things to do. Sandwich, play with Omar. Oh, and paintings. I'm gonna sell some paintings. The pub, the friends and family already got access to paintings. They've pretty much picked through what they're gonna buy. There is some stuff left. So, uh, paintings will drop for the public too. Just, you know, keep an eye out. Just. Keep your ear to the grindstone. All right, peace. And uh, yes, so my head fucking burnt. Super, super burnt. So there's uh, there's that. I probably should have a cap or something underneath. Or I could just, you know, have this be my look. You know what I'm saying? Like have this be, like this could be a tan line, you know? People won't know what to fucking think. Get these crazy tan lines like that. It's their fire shit, son. Fire shit. <laughs>